five shops with a different activity going on in each one, and the kids want to do every single thing. So tell me about the show today. What's going on? We're having a mother fest in downtown Portland, Maine. All the characters are here. All my despised Harry Potters are here. Too many Harry Potters. <laughs> if anyone tries anything, I show them my dark mark. You have a dark mark? I have a dark mark. Oh, uh, it's almost pulsating. I'm Augusta Longbottom. My grandson Neville is a student at Hogwarts School. He's a good friend, you know, of Harry Potter's. And so we came here today to help the Muggles learn a little bit about our world on Diagonal. Thank you for coming to see me. I appreciate all of you people. Thank you for the photograph as well. There's nothing I like more than a camera. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I bought him from a guy in Hogsmeade. Okay. Don't tell anyone. Okay. No fear of burning uh, your beard off at all. Nope, not yet. And hopefully by the time the scales come in, we'll be well trained. Very good. Well, thank you, sir. This guy is a screech owl. And one of the reasons that I brought him today is because he's very similar to Ron's owl in the Harry Potter book. Oh, very nice. Tell me about that. Especially imported for Muggle Fest to have margarine meat from the okay. This would be the Daily Prophet office. I'm sure you're familiar with the Daily Prophet, source of all good things. Yeah, as well. It also, in this world, doubles as the forecaster office. I'm sorry. I don't think we could have a better indication of how big this event has gotten than what we just got from our guy Brian Williams on NBC Nightly News, who three minutes ago mentioned the Muggle this Fest event in Portland. In Portland. So good blast. for you. Good for you. I'm just, I'm thrilled. There are, not only is it youth and family outreach, but there are five other nonprofits here that are running games and activities, and we've actually minted money. We've minted galleons, and they're taking galleons in their booth, and we're raising money. There's up to $10,000 in circulation here um, for nonprofits in Portland. A recent study found that reading Harry Potter significantly improved children's performance in school and their desire to read for pleasure, which is a key element of childhood literacy. That is one of the main reasons why the organization Youth and Family Outreach decided to put MuggleFest together. Departing thoughts for the audience that it watches later. What a way. All right. Believe in magic. I really, I, I really can't answer that, I don't think. Well, if you see it, tell me. And if you see Harry Potter, let me know. I love Harry Potter. He's my favorite. <laughs> to all muggles everywhere, you missed a good party tonight. Well, we made yes. a few, few non-muggles watching. The, the, to you non-muggles. They know what that means. I didn't do it, I was framed. And I'm being tormented. By pedigree, I think you know. Yes, he accused me of doing a lot of dirty things that I didn't ever do, right? Here comes snakes, so I must hide out. <laughs> People think I'm 
and nasty, oh, but really not. And I find that no matter what you say, it's really not so bad if you say it with a smile. <laughs> Have you seen any uh, any skull faced uh, pointed hat Death Eaters by chance? Why do you ask? Just uh, heard rumors that something might. What be rumors up. have you heard? I just heard a couple of things. And who are you working for? Well, I'm working just for the uh, for the uh, you know the people who sent me here. The people who sent you here. Yes. And which people might that be? Well, I'm not at liberty to just. Not at that. liberty to just. Sorry. Well, I see. Sorry about that. But any any last uh, words for the uh, public at large? Constant vigilance. And uh, are you uh, are you planning on reading much this weekend? Yes, yes, I do foresee that for most people who are here today. I think that that's a, that's a pretty a pretty easy prediction to make. Well, we're all in anticipation of the of the final book in the series. I personally um, should know what's going to happen, but I don't. I'm very anxious to, to find out. Thank you.